Hi. In part 2 we loaded two different types of ammunition in 7.62 Nagant. Both with a 311 uh, copper-plated lead bullet but with two different powder charges. Unfortunately it took me some time, uh, half a year in fact, before I found the time to make this video where we will test those rounds. We will start, however, by shooting seven rounds or one full cylinder of factory ammunition by PPU and measuring their velocity. Lastly, I'm going to make a slightly more exciting experiment. My individual Nagant was confiscated from its unlucky previous owner in the Second World War by my late grandfather. It came with a pouch of Soviet ammunition. Some people would say that I should not shoot it, either because it's potentially dangerous or because uh, old ammo has historical value. I will nevertheless uh, sacrifice five rounds to science, shoot them here and see what they do.
as is widely known, and as I mentioned in part one, you can shoot 32 Smith & Wesson long ammunition in a Nagant revolver. I have a wet cutters by Celier Bello here, but you can just as well use regular round nose bullets. So let's see how the 32s clock and behave. 